even at the face of life and death, they stood for their country. They are not hypocrites. They are real men. Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. This is Roya Taila TV React. And on this channel, I react to beautiful song, beautiful music, and mind blowing performances. Today, I'm super duper excited to react to one of the Russian stuff, right? This is not Hollywood. They are Russian, defender of their father's land today. Wow, I've been seeing this going flying around. I'm like, I need to really, really see this. And I'm super duper excited. I will be seeing this with you guys. Seriously, this is my first time of seeing and reacting to this. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a video or it's a song or it's a war something i don't know if you are yet to subscribe to this channel or you're coming across this channel for the first time you, you are super welcome don't forget to smash the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop any beautiful video on this channel to all of my amazing subscribers you guys are dope now without no further ado and i can't wait to react to this video let's dive into this video Alexander Pokarenko, okay. который вызвал огонь на себя. Это Магомед Мурбагандов, несломленный, запомнившийся своим призывом «Работайте, братья!». Он говорит это, когда у его виска ствол пистолета, который сейчас через секунду выстрелит и убьет его. Работайте, братья вы. И этот призыв услышали. Посмотрите, это военный со словами на портретах Магомеда «Работаем, брат!». Это Виталий Чуркин который всерьез, практически до смерти отстаивал интересы своей страны. Памятник ему стоит со словами «Спасибо за русское нет». Это посол Андрей Карлов, убитый в Турции. А цивилизованный мир дает премию фотографу, который сумел запечатлеть это убийство. Это псковский десант в Чечне, когда горстка наших ребят удерживались в бою сотнями боевиков, сотнями. Это не компьютерная графика, это не Голливуд, это реальное существование между жизнью и смертью. Когда выбирается смерть вместо того, чтобы сдаться. Это русский летчик Роман Филиппов, который был сбит, катапультировался, отбивался до последнего патрона. А когда боевики его окружили, он себя взорвал крикнув это вам за пацаном Wait. Wait. That's, so... that's 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 a painful one that's an emotional one they are russian I, I'm just speechless right now. I'm speechless right now. Ow! Like, ow! Even at the face of life and death, they stood for their country. They stood for Russian. Like... They are not hypocrites. They are real men. It takes real men, real men that love their country or their nation to lay down their life for their homeland, their town, their country. The pain their family will go through, not thinking about their own self-interest. Wow. That is why, like, it's like they love their neighbor like themselves. Like, it spares me to live my life for others to live like it pays me to die for others to live i'm just thinking about the traumatic the trauma that has been that 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 their family members would pass through listening to or seeing what happened to them this is so disheartened wow okay let's keep watching это российский спецназ Почти все бойцы были ранены, оставшийся невредимым единственный Денис Портнягин оборонялся до последнего. А когда понял, что боевики подступают и нет шансов, 
обвязал всех раненых товарищей гранатами и готов был подорвать и себя, и остальных, чтобы не попасть в плен и не сдать позицию. Слава Богу, подошло подкрепление, и все остались живы. Вот что говорит сирийский офицер Абу Ашраф. Мое сердце замерло, когда я увидел российских военных, каждый из которых сжимал в руке гранату и готов был взорвать себя, но не пропустить боевиков к этому пункту. Они все настоящие мужики. Даже самые современные рано или поздно появятся в других армиях мира. Это нас абсолютно не волнует. У нас это уже есть и будет еще лучше. Главное в другом. Таких людей... Таких офицеров у них не будет никогда. It actually looks like Hollywood, but I love the 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 um I I actually love the title. This is not Hollywood. This is not a film. This is not a joking matter. This is real, like real life. It's happening real. Just because they they, they don't want um other soldiers, other military men to take over them or to have them, and they are to show love to their country to the last with their last breath. Those are real men. They are real men. Wow. I would like us to give them one minute silence for um, everyone that has given their life um, to make peace reign and also to stand as brave real men till the end. May their gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Um, let's give them some seconds of silence. May they are so rest in perfect peace. This is something I really, really, really felt like emotional. I don't even know what to say. I was wondering how they could capture all these things and they could say it. Was it like they were camera and then was it like they were taking a record of it while they sent it to the main house in Russian or the president's house of worth. Whatsoever it is, guys, I know you're watching me right now. You understand this better than I do. Please drop that at the comment section, how they could get record of all these things and how they could actually put them into each other. And these things, when did they actually happen? Is this something that happened in this century or is past century like maybe something that has happened a long time, long, long time ago? I would like you to drop that at the comment section if you know anything about this and I pay homage to every family that lost one or two of their um, family members through the war and through this military of a thing. This is something that is so painful. Even those that were able to escape through the death or injury or stuff, they still have, they are mentally derailed, they are emotionally heartbroken, and they can't actually be that kind of person that have peace in their head. There is war in their head, even while they sleep, they are fighting. Even while they are eating, there is war running in their brain. And this is just, they are real men. They are brave as lion. I took that word and I took it to my heart. This is so amazing. If you have enjoyed watching this video just as I have and you are yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe, give this video a massive thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Signing out. Ciao.